this monomer right here. This monomer has changed my nail game and I mean it. So a while ago, I purchased a bunch of like low odor, odorless monomers. Um, and I wanted to do like different videos for you guys. At first I wanted to do one series testing them all out, but I just thought it was way too much to do in just one video because if some do have scents and others don't have scents, I'm just gonna be mixing them all up. So I thought that doing um, one video every so often whenever I have time, just rating one of the monomers that I had purchased would be perfect for this type of like, um, series i guess i'm going to be doing so before this type of monomer i was using the super um purple you know what? hold on let me go get it so this is kind of like your monomer that you kind of see everywhere at the nail salon and stuff like that this is a monomer i started out with it was a new bottle and as you can see i only got to like car noise sorry i only got to down here um this stuff smells really really strong so when i was using this monomer i had to work outside even outside the smell would just bombard the entire house you guys can see right here that's my um side yard so i would go out there the smell would still come into the house into the back of the house the bedrooms everywhere my husband absolutely hated it even me myself i myself hated this scent as well so then i went for the not polished this is actually my second bottle you guys can see it's like up to here right now and this is a not polish this is their um low odor i just i don't think it says it on the on the bottle but it is the low odor monomer that they have now this one is definitely a huge upgrade from this type of monomer i do really feel like this is a low uh, low odor but I still cannot work in the house with this monomer. Now, this monomer was not bothering me at all compared to the purple one, but it was still bothering my husband. So that is one of the big reasons why I had to go work outside still to go do acrylic nails, but the smell would just stay outside. Like nothing would come and follow you indoors or anything like that. But regardless, it's getting hot. There's a lot of bugs outside. I feel like they all get attracted to the monomer scent and I just wanted to work indoors. So, oh, and even, I tried the this one with the with the not polish drops like the from low odor to no odor didn't work out for me um, and I still had to end up doing nails outside so this is the whole reason why I just was like I'm on the hunt to find the perfect low odor monomer we bring you guys a little bit closer so I was like I'm on the hunt to find the perfect low odor monomer I bought oh, a bunch you know I'm sorry I keep repeating myself then I got this one Koopa so this is the one I'm starting out with like my first video of this series it's the only one I've used I've actually done a bunch of um nail sets well not a bunch let me see I've done two three four five like six nail sets with this and I would say I still have a good a good amount once I like fully get the function of it I know it's a lot less monomer that you have to use when um you do acrylic nails with odorless and I also did this bad baby with the Koopa odorless monomer look at how cute these are um there was supposed to be like a, a sky type you know like clouds and butterflies but it actually gives me a lot of beach vibes um I was able to do my first ombre with this monomer so I did like a a nude to a light jelly and then I did some clouds I feel like this is what makes it look like very beachy the colors of the monomer like sand and um, the water and I feel like the clouds look like um, waves <laughs> but anyways I love it so with this monomer not only can I work inside the house I've done all my nail sets indoors here in the living room my house is pretty small my living room is shared with my dining room and there is never an issue um my husband does not complain about it he's around when i do nails and he even comments like how he can't smell anything not a thing like some low odor or odorless i mean you can smell like a type of smell but for this one he cannot smell anything i cannot smell anything like it is amazing so um this is the one i'm starting out the video with i really really recommend this not only can you work inside but i feel like it has changed my nail game like my sets come out so much better now because it gives me time to shape it and it won't dry up and stay clumpy i feel like that was one of my issues too where 
my nails had so many bumps on it and then I had to go and like file it but since I suck at e-filing and filing it would still stay kind of like clumpy bumpy and all that kind of stuff and with this I do the the acrylic application and um I just file off the sticky layer and that's it I don't need to do anything else like because the shaping like you get it to such a beautiful shape that you do not need to file it so i did record myself doing this nail set not the whole nail set because i still kind of struggle with like filming and doing nail sets and stuff like that but i will share the process with you guys okay moving on to voiceover mode right here i just have my hands prepped and ready to go i'm just ready to share with you guys this monomer so this is again the koopa monomer and it is their odorless monomer. So I just kind of wanted just to skip to the parts where I was using the monomer so you guys can kind of see how I use it and how it works and stuff like that. All right, so I took my little dappin dish and now I'm pouring some of the monomer in there. And you guys are going to see that it just looks like regular monomer. You know, to be honest, it's like the same color. You don't need that much. And actually, when you use odorless monomer, it's a lot less monomer ratio to acrylic. And I'm going to be using my Kiara Sky number 16 brush. And a little hack, guys. I wanted to create the jelly tips for the acrylic nails. So I saw um, an acrylics. She took some um, nail polish or gel nail polish and she put it into her monomer. And if you do that, you can put any color that you want to. So you take gel polish and you put it into your monomer and you mix it around. Um, and when you pick up a bead, use your clear acrylic. When you pick up a bead, your clear acrylic is going to have a hint of that color. And it's going to be like very jelly-like. It's not going to be a solid color. So I thought this was super cute and super great for my nail set for today so i am using the not polish clear color and then um actually i think this is the very first time i i use it yeah it is um yeah so i'm just kind of going along with the video um here we go oh and also i'm using a big um a big brush i'm just so used to it i know you guys have always told me like use a smaller bead and it'll be easier i mean a smaller brush but i can't i can't like i'm just so used to the big brushes now so here i'm picking up a bead and you guys can see um the light color on the brush and then if i set it down and swatch it look at that clear beautiful beauty and it's actually gonna come out like that on your nail i decided to make the monomer a bit darker i did that off like i just edited it off camera um, because it might look dark, but when you do your nails, it's actually going to come out looking still pretty light. Um, so you guys can see that and look at how cute it is. So you guys can see me right there placing the bead. I'm just going to move some stuff around just to kind of get a better angle here. But you guys saw me placing the bead and it just looks like a regular bead, to be honest. And it's just really easy to work with, uh, still very movable. And I like, um, patting it and dragging it into place it's just very very easy to work with um you know and i can't recommend this monomer enough to you guys um so i'm just gonna leave the process of me doing this nail right here without any like editing or fast forwarding it or anything and and i'll come back if i have something to say <laughs> um so yeah just want to point out as well that you guys can see it just looks in my eyes it looks really nice like there's not a lot of filing that's gonna need to happen when i'm done with the nail set that's kind of like what i mean not a lot of filing to be done because i feel like this monomer really helps you like get it into shape and just i don't know it's just really easy to work with the other monomer i feel like it dries up too quick so when i set it somewhere it's hard to move it and it comes out really bumpy it's also really easy to clean clean up i'm sorry your mistakes 
since you know it doesn't dry quick so it allows you to clean up your mistakes really quick which is another thing that i really like about this monomer Another pro that I have to mention is that I finish nails so much faster now. Before, a basic nail set would take me four hours to finish. And now it literally only takes me two hours. Like, I am super proud of myself. This is only like basic if I want to, uh, you know, go crazy with the nail art and the design and the decorations and stuff. It does take me a bit longer but I am just obsessed with how fast I can finish nails now. And here you guys can see that I'm done with the top blue part. So the left hand that I showed you guys looked more dry. And this is the hand that I had just recently finished. Just kind of showing you guys that wet look that it has to it. So um, if I touch it, it's a bit sticky, you see. But if you saw me touch the left one, there was really no issue with it. You just kind of have to wait for it to dry. Um, and then I cleaned out my little dappin dish. And um, I'm going to also put some more Koopa because now I'm just going to go ahead and do the nude bottom part. Now what I mean, wait for it to dry, it actually does not take a long time to dry either. You'll just kind of see it and you'll notice it. Um, by the time you're done doing your nails and you move on to that nail, it'll already be dry and you'll be able to work on it. So it's not really a big deal. A lot of people usually say it takes forever to dry and they can't finish nails fast. I feel like for me, in my opinion, that's not true at all. By the time I finished my left hand, I worked on my right hand and my left hand was dry. And now that I'm going to work on my right hand, then my left hand is going to dry. And now for my bottom color, I'm using nude polish. I mean, <laughs> nude panther by not polish and i am obsessed i feel like right now this is my favorite nude um it's not my favorite favorite nude but from all the acrylic powders that i have it is my favorite one if you guys can recommend a better one um then that would be great <laughs> because i'm still on the look for it i'm gonna swatch it so the monomer does not have any gel polish on it anymore it's just the monomer and look at this beautiful bead Mwah! perfection i am obsessed with this monomer so what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna go ahead and do like the brown the nude part at the bottom of my nail the little ombre part and that's it i'm just gonna do it on one finger but basically it's the same process for all of them look at this beautiful bead it is beautiful so now i'm gonna place it at the bottom of my nail and i am just gonna work that in there look at that even placing the bead did you guys see that? Y'all know that was beautiful. <laughs> so I'm just going to place it there and I'm working on it, working on blending it and adding it and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be quiet now and let you guys just watch it.
this was me right here struggling to like try to get it in the camera and like try to also do the nail as well it's just hard to kind of like do your nails and make sure you're recording at the same time which is why i don't do it as often um and i think this is like maybe my second or third time trying to do ombre nails um so there's that as well but i felt like this one was definitely a success for me um because the other nails you can never tell they were ombre <laughs> uh, so yeah i really like the process of being able to do ombre when i use this type of monomer um this nail right here that i'm working on currently did come out a bit bulky but that doesn't worry me because later on when i file i just file down the bulk and it it um it blends beautifully in my opinion i think it did and i didn't really worry about it looking bulky at the bottom and thin at the top because again i just hand filed that later on so i am leaving the whole process of applying the acrylic on this bottom part as well i just didn't want to edit out any of the parts where i used the monomer just so it can be like a real actual review but if any part of this you guys are watching and you want to leave your opinions or your suggestions you're more than welcome to do that um as well but i just i'm sorry if it's kind of boring i just didn't want to edit out any of the of the part where I was using the monomer. Obviously not for my both hands, but at least I wanted to include a full process for at least one finger. So here is the nail set basically basically complete like the bottom and the top section so this is my left hand you guys see it looked dry and here is the right hand which you guys can see it looks still a bit wet at this point right here i am not going to work on my left hand again to allow my right hand to dry because i am done using the monomer and acrylic so i did go and wash my hands <laughs> i did leave them wet just so you guys can see that i washed them so i put them under warm water 15 seconds each hand and just like you guys saw me rubbing at the nails is what i was doing when i was running them under warm water in the sink so here's my left hand here's my right hand and i didn't have an issue with that and now i'm taking my mccart 100 by 180 um file and i am also going to file at the nail i'm doing this just because it does need a bit of shaping i mean working with this monomer it allows me to have better shaped nails than any other monomer that i've had i don't worry that much about it but you know it does act, need to be at least a little bit shaped and it also helps out remove any of that um continuous sticky layer that i had so in this nail right here um i'm gonna file the sides and when i file the top i just kind of wanted to share what it looked like so when you file the top you're gonna see like this like kind of gooey um looking type of like substance or like you know but right here when i point at it at my finger that's kind of like what i'm filing off of my nails so i just do that to kind of file the remaining um stickiness to them and also to bl to better blend the ombre so i was all on board for that so to help me blend it out a bit more two to kind of shape it a bit and you know um, remove any like thickness that i had left on it and also to remove any of the remaining uh stickiness from the monomer but that's basically it this monomer is amazing and i mean i feel like that shouldn't deter you from purchasing it 
After I finished hand filing, I went ahead and I grabbed this mini buffer and I buffed my nails. So as you can see, the only difference between using an odorless monomer and a monomer is really just kind of washing off that sticky layer or filing it off or doing both. And after that, you can just regularly um, file and buff the nails. Okay, so here are the nails washed again. I, I went ahead and I washed them again to remove um, the filing that I had done and the buffing and all that kind of stuff. And then here is the nail just dry. So you guys can see there is no stickiness remaining to it. Um, you know, it doesn't take forever to dry. It doesn't take forever to complete a set or anything like that. Um, and then I went ahead and I had forgotten to file the tip of the nail to kind of give it a sharpness. So I went ahead and I did that. And here is the completed look, you guys. Isn't it so cute? I honestly feel like I keep getting better and better with my nail sets. I mean, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot. You know what I mean? Like... I am just so happy that I am finally at this stage of doing nails. So I didn't record the process of me doing my nail art, but basically what I did is I took the white Kiara Sky gel polish, I drew some simple cartoony clouds, but then I took a brush and I spread it out at the bottom, you know, getting some Bob Ross in. <laughs> I cured it for 30 seconds. Then I uh, placed my butterfly water decals. Then I put some top coat on. I cured each hand for two minutes and then after I top coat, I went ahead and I put some cuticle oil and it was that simple, guys. Okay, so there you guys go. You guys can see that I ended up with this nail set. I didn't share uh, me creating the design, but from the steps that you guys just saw, all I ended up doing was um, doing the clouds and then um, curing that a bit and then adding the the nail, the the butterfly nail decals and then putting top coat and curing that and that's it super simple easy look and as you guys can see the only difference between this monomer or any other monomer like if you're gonna like try to see what's the difference the only difference really is that once you're done with the nail set um they have to go wash their hands to kind of like remove the sticky layer so i recommend 15 seconds each hand under warm water and just like really scrub it in there just to get that sticky layer off or you can skip that and just go automatically straight to e-filing or hand filing the sticky layer off i do both i go wash my hands and when i do my daughter's nails they go wash their hands 15 seconds each hand under warm water then you know dry it off come back and then <laughs> come back and then i i will e-file the top sticky layer off as well and that's it just kind of like i also do that second step of e-filing because sometimes it does stay a little bit sticky y'all hear my daughter and then um it also kind of like shapes it a little bit you know because it's, like i said not a lot of shaping to be done so that is it for my video for today for this monomer right here i actually got it from their official site and I don't want to buy another bottle. I really do, but I'm going to hold off because I still have other monomers that I want to test out for you guys to see which one is like the go-to, like which one is like, it's going to be the monomer I'm going to use for the rest of my life basically. But so far, this one is winning the game. I mean, compared to these two, because I can finally work indoors. Like I love it so much. So yeah this is the one i'm starting off the series with but look forward to other videos i'm going to be doing other nail sets maybe on myself again or on my daughters um reviewing the other monomers and if i recommend them or not i mean everyone's different i've seen videos where people are like this is a game changer this takes away all the odor and stuff like that but for me it did not work so try it out see if you like it um this one is the eight fluid ounces maybe go for a smaller one but i am telling you oh my gosh and first of all thank you so much to easy nails for recommending this it has changed everything like i'm telling you this has changed my life basically <laughs> like it has like i love doing nails now like i felt like something was wrong with me why can i i do it right so not only does it give you the opportunity to work indoors but if you're a true beginner like myself you will notice such a huge difference in the nail sets like it is a game changer like for real a game changer so 
I highly, highly, highly recommend this, guys. Like, super highly recommend it. Um, and if you're not a beginner and you know how to work with monomer, regardless if you want to work indoors, I super recommend that too. So, you know, the smell, if it bugs you, if it bugs your little ones, if it bugs your husband, your significant other, your family members, you're going to have no problem. Nada. Um, yeah, so that was my video for today. Let me know if you guys have used this, what you think of it, or if you're going to give it a try now. And also, let me know what you guys think about these. Aren't they so cute? I feel like they're my favorite, the best nail set I've done today like i look at them i'm like oh my gosh i'm wearing press-ons or something because they're so freaking cute um yeah so anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye